Here's the Couturier hit on Doc, and first I'll just focus on the hit, not the aftermath. To me, this is clean. There's nothing wrong with it. You can see Doc coming through the middle of the ice, and he actually turns into Couturier. Couturier stays low and uses his hips for contact, not his shoulder. It looks really bad from this angle because of that across-the-body angle of approach that Couturier takes, but he doesn't do anything to create or promote head contact. And here's what I mean. If Couturier hits Doc across the body right now where Doc is facing straight up the ice, he's going to go through the head. He has nothing else to go through. But as he sees Doc turn to his left, now his core is exposed, and that's when Couturier decides to lean to his right before he was just traveling beside Doc. And even still, if he pops up like regular people and pops up with his shoulder, he's going to hit the head still, but he doesn't. He keeps his shoulder down, rotates so that it's his hip making contact. And really, that's just Doc's shoulder hitting Couturier's back and his head barely maybe grazing it, if at all. And just to emphasize this fact again, what Couturier does differently than most people is a lot of people would now shrug up their shoulder to try and contact Doc's right shoulder, but he doesn't. He actually pulls his shoulder out of the way and doesn't use it for contact at all. As I said, this is all hip rotation. It's a leg lower body check more than anything else. And it further emphasizes my point. People think a shoulder shrug is a necessary follow through even after contact without the shoulder. They think it's just a natural thing the body does, but Couturier doesn't. There's no need to shrug your shoulder upward at any point throughout the proper checking process. This is perfect. Now as for the aftermath, Shakai didn't like the hit, so he goes right after Couturier. They talk for a long time, and finally they decide to go. Couturier drops one glove first, and then Shakai drops his glove, so it's not an instigator. But who appears as if from nowhere? Nick Sealer comes in and breaks up the party with his gloves both off. And he grabs Jack Eye and they take him down to the ground. And under Rule 46 fighting, 46.16, third man in, a game misconduct penalty, at the discretion of the referee shall be imposed on any player who was the first to intervene, i.e. be third man in, in an altercation already in progress. However, this rule is generally applied when a fight occurs. And that part, at the discretion of the referee, they must not have believed this to be a fight because no punches were technically thrown yet. That's obviously further supported by the official's decision to only give one penalty throughout this whole thing, and that's to Jackeye for unsportsmanlike conduct. There were no fighting majors issued during this altercation. To me, on the other hand, at my discretion, there is very obviously about to be a fight. Both players agree. And they have no idea someone's coming in to break it up. They're both going at each other and they attempt to start a fight. Watch it again here. They're both grabbing. They're both grabbing. They're talking it over. They agree. Both sets of gloves come off. And then they're about to start swinging at each other and they grab. And that's when Sealer comes in. I don't think it sets a very good precedent that you can drop your gloves and come in and grab people that are about to be engaged in a fight. And as long as you get there in time to stop the first punch, there's no fighting major and you don't get a third man in. I don't think that's the way it should work. A third man in is a player who is the first to intervene in an altercation already in progress. Not necessarily a fight. And it only says generally this rule is applied when a fight occurs. But this to me is a clear altercation between two other players and he clearly intervenes. Now, on the other hand, in the official's defense, Jackeye goes way out of his way to create this altercation. And he stands there for a long time, holding Couturier, ignoring the play, and preventing Couturier from joining the play. It would have bothered me equally as much to see this become even with just two fighting majors and no instigator penalty. Because Couturier was so obviously feeling like he has to fight at that point because it was so long they were standing there. I don't think that's right either. I think players like Couturier who make clean checks shouldn't have to get engaged in this nonsense. So they should have just blown it down right away. If you're going to give Jack Eye his misconduct, give it right away, shot it down immediately and send him to the box. Don't let him stand there and suck Couturier in and create this needless altercation. Blow it down right now, send him to the box. But then Sealer comes in to break it up because he's trying to defend Couturier. So I get it too. But he probably should have got at least at the minimum a misconduct penalty as well for being third man in. 